Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are going to have a first look at Timberborn with a big thank you to Catapult for sponsoring this video. Humans are long gone. Will your lumberpunk beavers do any better? A city building game featuring ingenious animals, vertical architecture, river control, deadly drought, and contains high amount of wood. If you are interested in grabbing this game as well, you can now get it on Steam with a 20% discount with the link in the description and the link in the pinned comment of the comment section. This discount offer is ending on the 5th of January, so be quick if you want to use this discount for grabbing this game. The game still is in early access, but the reviews on Steam are already overwhelmingly positive. So without further talking, let's go and jump into it and check it out ourselves. So let's just start with a new game. Choose your faction. Uh, folk tales or iron teeth? Easy going but hard working. Folk tales are expert farmers. They respect nature and reward them with plentiful bounties. Their motto, comfort, food, and sturdy wood. What does this one say? Iron teeth, defectors of the traditional timber ways. They mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery. They achieve progress through ingenuity, efficiency, and disregard for the environment. Their motto, work hard, work hard. <laughs> okay, uh, I think since this is the first time we're playing, I'm just gonna go for these cute beavers. They look absolutely adorable, by the way. Uh, let's just go. Okay, select a map. I obviously really have no idea. Let's just go for it for this one. I mean, uh, it's recommended. You want to challenge your settlement start with moderate resources. Droughts are milder and the beginning, but intensify over time. Mm, okay, let's just go for it for normal. If a building is marked as solid, such as a lodge or a warehouse, you can build other structures on its roof. Interesting. I love this picture, by the way. This looks absolutely amazing. What would you like to call your settlement? Um, Beaver City? I don't know. Something like that? Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Oh my god. We have little beavers. Can I see them more clothes? Oh, I can. Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god, okay. This is just too cute. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> Welcome, this tutorial will help you with the basics of building a beaver settlement. Every new settlement needs logs, only lumberjacks will cut trees, so place two lumberjack flags next to the nearby trees. Um, wait, okay, there you go. Uh, lumberjack flags, uh, place them nearby trees. So we have trees over here, and trees over there. There, I am not really sure. How do I rotate these? Uh, R, okay. Um, nearby trees. Okay, I'm just gonna put one down here and one down here, I think. Okay, we placed two. Do we need to connect them? Continue. The flags will not be built unless they are in the restrict building range. Select the district center to see its building range. You can extend it by building path. Um, oh, okay, yes. Okay, so I do need some path. How do we build path? Cut <laughs> trees, plant crops, plant trees and bushes, demolish buildings and resources, assign priorities, path and structures. Okay, let's see if this works. I have no idea if it does. Uh, I'm just going to connect you like that, and then I'm going to connect you like so. Okay. Oh, look at that little beaver. Oh my goodness, that's so adorable. Oh my god, a beaver city, guys. <laughs> Gotta love a beaver city. Okay, uh, select the district center. You can extend it by path, build. Okay, so, so this one is still building it. Okay, there we go. Continue. Every building with an entrance must be connected to the strict center by path. Okay, yes, okay, that's already <laughs> what we did. Um, lumberjacks will not start working until you tell them what to do. Use the cut trees tool to mark an area for cutting. A lumberjack flag only cuts trees within its range. You can check it by selecting a flag. Okay, so we select a flag. I guess this is a range. And 
That is a range. All right, okay, that makes perfect sense. Cut trees. Uh, how do we select that? Cut trees. How do we do that? Uh, well, that's not working. Lumberjacks. Cut within range. You can uh, click and select. Okay, mark. Yes, there we go. You go. We can select these. Uh, we can also select all these trees then, I guess. Uh, okay, that doesn't really work. Can I remove these two? Yes, we can. Okay, continue. Beavers need water to survive. Of course they do. Build a water pump to ensure a continuous source of drink water. Remember to connect it to a district center. Build a water pump. Okay, so we have water. Water pump. Uh, does this... Okay, this lights up. Can we rotate that? How does this work? Uh, okay, I think we're just gonna put it down like so. Uh, how many do we need? One. Okay, can I move that one just to the side? Ah, oh, I just want it to be perfect, you know? <laughs> Where were the paths again? Okay, here, and then we're just going to... I'm not really sure which... What is... Okay, let's just do it like so. I guess that's good. I guess that's good. Okay, build a water pump. We are working on that. We can speed this up a little bit right over here. Or is not is no one going to do that? Connect to a district center. Okay, it is connected, so that should be good. Oh look, that beaver is bringing wood. <laughs> oh my god, this is so adorable. Look at them work. <laughs> I love this already. <laughs> okay, we need to speed this up a little bit. So we can uh, see this water pump. Getting finished. Yes, okay, there we go. This one is finished now. Look at that, how cool that looks. So this is going to provide our beavers with some water. Oh, that looks really cute, actually. Uh, what do we have here? Some dry trees. Interesting. Okay, what else do we do? In addition to water, beavers also need food. Build a gathered a gatherer flag near some blueberry bushes. Uh, gatherers will automatically carry batter, <laughs> gather berries within the flag's range. You can see the range by selecting the gatherer's flag. Okay, food, gatherer's flag. Okay, these look like the berries. So we are going to put that one down right over here. Do we have more berries on this side? We do not. We have more berries here, I think. So maybe we could just add another one right over here and just make sure we connect them to this particular area. There we go. Look at that. All right, let's go and finish these gatherer flags here. Okay, they're both finished now. Oh, look, you are gathering some berries now. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> I love to see these beavers just uh, working around. A settlement needs a stable food source. Build a farmhouse to plant and harvest crops. If you're running low on workers, you can pause some buildings. To do so, select a building and click the pause button or press P. Like many other buildings, a farmhouse has a limited range. Build a farmhouse. Uh, where do we find... Oh, there we go. A farmhouse is this. Employs farmers that plant and harvest crops. Where shall we build this? Maybe somewhere over here. I like that. Um, do we connect it like this? In the corner, maybe? Uh, only one. Okay. Uh, just built that one. Okay, the farmhouse is finished now. Uh, so we have two people or two, <laughs> two beavers working in the farmhouse. Can we like extend that with like fields or anything? Farmhouse, I don't think so. Nothing to do in range. Wait, did I maybe? Why do I need to put it down? Need to stay before we start. Build a farmhouse to plant, harvest, and crops. So how can we make like a field or anything? I wonder. Like I can't really tell. But let's just continue and see if it says something. 
Farmers will not start working until you tell them what and where to plant. Ah, there we go. Use a plant crops tool to mark a carrot field. There we go. Okay, this one. And then use this tool to designate an area for planting. Required building a farmhouse. Carrots basically needs hunger. Carrots need to grow full. Okay, so how much should we do here? What else do we have? We have potatoes. Weed, cattail, spatter dock, and remove. I really don't know how big we should make this. Um, I think we could just try some potatoes as well, maybe. Uh, farmers are not sorry. Did it say? Uh, oh, a plant carrot. Six out of seventy. Okay, it's good that I checked <laughs> because we need a lot more uh, carrot space here. Can we also just continue on the other side? Maybe this doesn't seem like very fertile ground, so I might just go to the other side if that works. It does work. We need two more. Oh no, I can't stand that. Two. I want four then. Maybe just one more line. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have one more line right over here then. Okay, carrots. Carrots everywhere. <laughs> While all the buildings you have placed have some storage, they will fill up quickly. Build a log pile to store logs, small water tanks to store water, and a small warehouse to store berries and other resources. So log pile, small warehouse, and a small water tank. So we go to storage, we have a log pile. So I think we should uh, build that log pile more close to this particular area so i'm just going to build you right over here and make sure that we can add a path on that side if we need to a small warehouse that would be this one for the berries um can we squeeze you in nicely right over here mm, not sure maybe i want to squeeze you in here Yes, next to the berries, right on that side. And then we need, wait, what did it say? A small water tank. And that should be this one. So we should add a small water tank right next to this area, I'm guessing. I think like putting it close to all the areas makes a lot more sense to me. So let's see how that will go. Oh, we actually need three small water tanks i see so we ju should just build three next to each other then all right so we have the uh, small water tanks all done just look at these buildings they look beautiful though <laughs> that's so cute oh look at that one <laughs> sitting and resting in front of the farmhouse these guys are working right over here. It's so adorable, isn't it? Okay, so we have logs and some barrels right over here. All right, next. Uh, homes increase your beavers' well-being and allow your folktales population to grow. Build enough lodges to house all your beavers. Beavers will not reproduce unless they are empty slots or kids. Um, that is a good point because indeed they are they are also sleeping on the floor at night time so that's pretty sad uh so we're gonna build six lodges uh place to spend the night solid other buildings can be built on top on its top unique to this faction they say need sleep shelter inhabitants three uh but we can also have a mirrored one okay so oh that's nice that's really nice so you can uh Okay, we're, we're gonna build like this little, uh, little village right over here, I guess. Two. Okay, it says six, but I actually just want to build eight and then just connect this all with a path in between, like so. Not really sure if this would be, is the best place to put down uh, this uh, field, but it is what it is. Uh, this is the first time we're playing, so... <laughs> We're just checking this out and see how this all uh, is going. So at night time, the beavers basically stop working and go to bed at some point. 
Uh, so we're just gonna speed it up a little bit, I guess, uh, to see how these lodges will finish. So while they are still uh, building these lodges, I was just uh, curious to see what all is able, what, what you are able to build in a later stage in the game. So obviously you have some more warehouses, hauling post, builder's hut, distribution post. Uh, so you have more housing, mini lodge, double lodge, triple lodge. Uh, what do you need for that? Inhabitants nine. Okay, not enough science points. Okay, so there is something going on with science. Uh, for water, we can build a water pump, a water dump, a small water tank, large water tank, irrigation tower, a stream go, mechanical water pump. So the food. Food is also a lot of different things. So farmhouse, aquatic farmhouse that plants and harvests aquatic crops. A grill, a grist mill, a bakery, and beehive. So what you can do with a wood, a lumber mill, forester, gear workshop, paper mill, a, a printing press, tapper shag, wood workshop. And we have metal, scavenger flag, melter, and a mine uh, we can work on our power i'm going to slow this down because we're almost done right over here a power wheel straight power shaft power shaft turn intersections a uh, windmill large windmill okay science is here inventor an observatory and then you have leisure <laughs> campfire rooftop terrace a shrine a lido or something <laughs> temple carousel mud bath for those that are like wait why does he pronounce some things super weird i'm dutch so <laughs> english is not my native tongue so sometimes i'm like what <laughs> so apologies for that uh, a bench we oh we can have like decorations uh bench shrub roof roof a uh, different type of roof a scarecrow beaver statue log fence metal fence plank fence and then you have some monuments, labor monument, flame of progress, and tribute to in something. <laughs> oh, okay, that's it. Go back to the menu. All right, so there's a lot of stuff going on right over here. Definitely gives me uh, banished vibes. I absolutely love banished. It's been a while since I played that, but it was so much fun. But I do really like uh, the fact that you have something still completely different going on with beavers and stuff and being able to build things on top of each other. Um, that is definitely a very interesting. I, I really love that. Okay, we have six lodges now. Uh, so we can continue. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Science points are used to unlock more advanced buildings. An inventor will produce science points over time. So we can now uh, go to science and build an inventor. Um, I actually think I want to put you down somewhere over here. Uh, maybe um, this spot right over there. Uh, and maybe we can, yeah, we can later then hopefully also build some decorations and stuff. That would be just super amazing. I actually regret building it here. But it's all right. We're just going to build a path around this whole area and just uh, make some kind of, I don't know, applause on the back. It is. <laughs> all right. We're going to extend some path right over there. And let's see. All right. So our inventor is now finished. Just look at that building. That looks really cool as well. Okay. Uh, we can now start producing more advanced resources, but some buildings require power to do so. Build a water wheel by the shore on the river. It is dependent on the water flow, so it will stop producing energy when there is no water. Okay, build a water wheel. That should be this one. Oh, look how pretty. Okay, so do we need to connect that with something, I wonder? Okay, I think this is a nice spot. Okay, put that one down right over here. And I'm guessing you need to connect this with a path, but I'm not entirely sure if... Yeah, okay, I think this shows, but there is... A power connection is blocked. Um, I'm gonna go 
Like, so, oh wait, how, is that even possible with that tree? <laughs> Don't think so. Uh, can we remove this path? Oh, you can also have priorities right over here. Demolish buildings and resources. Uh, delete buildings. Do you also, yes, I want to destroy that. Perfect, thank you. I wonder if you can remove that tree. You probably can. How to do that? Uh, make resource with them. Oh, war yes. Okay, we can delete that tree. If someone can delete that tree once you are done with running around and sleeping. <laughs> I guess they all go and sleep now in their houses. Oh, look, they light up. That's really cute. So they go inside. You can also click their homes and see who is uh, living there. They are getting some babies. So this one is still empty and that one is still empty. Uh, but I think that's all right. Definitely to grow. I think that is the way to go for. So this one is now removing that tree. So now I can connect this part like so. And then demolish. Where was that one again? And this and then. Yes, perfect. That looks a lot better. Okay, what is this little sign? The building is full, so I need more tanks. That was it. Uh, so I need to connect more of these. Maybe we should go to the back right over here. Oh, I can't build through there. Okay, I'm gonna try like so and then remove that tree as well. So I'm gonna mark that one for removal. And then we are able to squeeze in some more of these barrels. I think that should be good. The water wheel is still being built 25% waiting for more logs. So let's continue that. All right, so that tree is now removed. So I'm just going to grab another small water tank and fill that one up as well. I do think that the priority will be on this building, obviously, because that is the one we need to construct. So we have some power going on in our little beaver city. Oh, this is actually interesting. You can also add another hour to their working hours. They might not really like that, <laughs> but you can do that. So they will be working another hour. I guess there is a lot more to this in a later stage to uh, keep your be beavers happy. You should not. <laughs> And then work 16 hours a day. Oh my god, I would die if I would be working 16 hours a day. <laughs> oh, you even have a global view? Oh, how does this work? District, district 1? Oh, if you have like more districts, you can you can probably switch in between them, I guess. That makes total sense. Um, so this one, this building is still full because these uh, barrels are not being filled just yet. I am actually curious if we are now able to uh, do some decorating, not enough science points. Okay, so this is the uh, inventor. Inspired by the legacy of old Casco, beaver inventors are always eager to improve their timber tag. So we have one working right over here. It's at 80% for three science points. And so where can we spend these science points? I guess that will be explained in a later stage. Is that like, can you unlock it with science points or something like that? Oh my God, I see like underneath here. I can't point it, but underneath in the red, it's science points. That is a lot of science points actually. Is that like 80 science points to unlock the bench? Holy cow. Okay, so no more, no benches yet. No benches yet. Okay, we build the water wheel. And it's time to start producing planks. Build a lumber mill and connect it to the water wheel with power shafts. Many buildings can pass energy to one another when placed wall to wall. Okay, so we need to build a lumber mill and build a lumber mill, power lumber mill. Okay, uh, lumber mill should be here. Okay, a lumber mill. Okay, build the lumber mill and power it. I really wonder how we can power it. And I'm guessing it should be connected to here. Oh, oh wait, does that look like we can just do like that? Can we go over the path or something? Does that work? All right, so this is now done. 
uh, building needs power to operate, connected to a power generator. All right, so then, then, okay, I was right. Like, it's not going to work. <laughs> so I'm going to remove that path and then we're going to connect it with a power shaft. Maybe we need to remove that one as well so we can have like this intersection, like so. And then we're going to remove this one as well. And then we're going to go around it with a pot. Oh, although I'm, yeah. Okay, we're, we're just going to try. That is, this is a challenge to connect that and make sure it all works. Maybe just, wait, where's the water? Help? Where's my water? Power to lumber mill, but there's no power because there's no water. <gasps> oh no! Okay, help. <laughs> Power to lumber mill. Well, that's gonna be a challenge. If we don't have any water, this wheel is not going to rotate. Is the water coming back? I hope so. I hope we have enough water to survive at least. I, I'm not really sure if... Yes, they should be able to fix or build this. But, um, do we have enough water? I hope so. How else will they survive? Like, where is the water coming from? Uh-oh. Beavers without water is no good. Um, how I pine for the unknown beaver poet. It died. No! <laughs> All the trees <laughs> are dying as well. There is no water. Oh my freaking gosh. Um, we're not doing well. Definitely not. You guys are all complaining about food. You are starving. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. How did we manage to do that? Nothing to do. Construction lacks materials. Building lacks powers. Your beer beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being high score. Ugh, the last thing I did expect was to lose the tutorial. <laughs> oh my freaking god. Is that like a... Are we like in some kind of season drill in process? Okay, yes. I, I can tell. Um... But how oh, is there show water? No, we don't have water. Okay, we're, we're just fast forwarding. We cannot, well, that's all right. We just need water. We just need water. Oh, wait, 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 it's gone? Is the water coming back? Did we survive? Forecast unknown. Beavers are still starving, which is not good. How is the water coming back? I feel like I have no control over the water. It must be rain or just coming from somewhere else. There is no forecast here. So I don't know if it's going to rain. Um, their thirst, this beaver will die. <laughs> this beaver will die. You're kidding me, right? <gasps> There's water coming back. Oh my god, there's water coming back. Okay, okay, we're, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Uh, this one is... Um, are you powered? Building needs power to operate, connect to a power generator. I'm doing something wrong here, and I just don't know what. Maybe it needs to connect... Oh, right! Right, okay, maybe it's just me. Delete that one, yes. Delete that one. Yes. Okay. I might, might have just not connected this right. It doesn't need a connection to... Uh, wait, how are you... Okay, like that? It might not need a path connection. Ugh, I think this is it. I think that is just all it needs. That was just me doing a silly with the path. I think this should be correct. Um, okay, but now... Okay, you guys... You, you, you still need water, so I think the priority might be this water pump. 
and we're gonna put that one on very high and then this on high although there is not much else to do but these things can wait so they are they have the lowest priority i think that is the way to go for it. i i don't see any beavers being hungry anymore so that should be good um transporting the training warehouses uh there are no trees here can we like har uh like grow trees or anything like that plant trees and bushes sounds good yes we wanna we wanna do that uh, i think i'm just going to squeeze you in this corner right over here you have a low priority though you are not my highest priority to build uh okay we have another water pump functioning i think that's gonna be good i think these uh barrels will be filled very soon Ooh, look it's connected yes i did it i did it <laughs> gosh okay that was a little bit silly of me to i just thought like oh yeah we need to connect it to a path but <laughs> that was not really the case but this works uh works perfectly actually uh, so what are they complaining at now? Still food? Uh, build a forester? Okay, we are working on the forester right now, so that is also good. I think we need to make sure that they have some more food. Maybe we should just make another little farm on that side. Maybe some potatoes this time? They used to grow six. I, I think we should just do that. And just build a potato farm right over here so they have some more food and how is the warehouse doing capacity is doing really well so um well actually it's pretty empty but that means that we definitely need to make sure that we have some more food and stuff going on do we have we have plenty of space still for some new beavers so we have a forester now you can now plant trees choose to plant tree bushes to um and plant some pine similar to crops trees need to be watered in order to grow remember to mark them for cutting uh plant a pine okay that's right oh we do just, just plant them like so mm hmm okay we need plenty of trees here oh, okay okay we're just gonna just fill this all up just plant those trees and then we need to make sure that they're going to cut the trees okay that is all good and then right over here should be all good as well perfect all right your settlement is now self-sufficient as long as the water keeps flowing consider building a dam or placing more water tanks to help your beaver survive the droughts the tutorial showed you the basics but there is much more you can discover on your own yes i can't believe this was the tutorial like it was pretty pretty hard <laughs> well that was just basically me being a little bit silly, but uh, this is very interesting. Like, how would you build a dam? A dam like this. Uh, but it allows some to pass through and spill away at the top. Other buildings can build on top of this dam. So, I, I don't know how this would work. If I just would build a dam like so. Would it hold... Yeah, okay, well, because the water is coming from that side, so this would be the, the right spot, right? And then to make sure it would not become dry. I don't know. Okay, well, that's the last thing we're going to try out. I just want to see how this beaver dam looks and how that would work. Okay, this beaver dam is going to take way too long because I barely have any logs and stuff, so I can't really <laughs> wait to, uh, till this one is finished, but you can actually just drag a path all over it uh, so you will have like this beaver dam and then you have a path to the other side as well to expand your beaver city uh, so I, I i do understand i think even though i only played the tutorial so far that the reviews are overwhelmingly positive this is definitely a very cool and interesting way of a, a new city building game with with beavers i think it's very original and i really do like the graphics and, and all the the buildings like the cute style of the buildings i think uh, this definitely looks very very promising i'm very curious to hear what you guys uh, think so far of timorborn and as i said 
you can now grab this game on Steam until the 5th of January with a 20% discount with the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment of the comment section. Definitely let me know if you are about to grab this game as well or maybe you're already playing it. Do let us know what you think so far of Timberborn. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!